Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. We're looking for Leonard Shoulder. He didn't show up and we had some pretty freaky dreams, I guess. Was it even a dream? I don't know, with that really horrible looking cat. Um, so we're going to head out and potentially try and figure out who that old guy was as well the night before. Good morning, Miss Beardman. Good day, Stanley. Very empty in here. Stanley, wh where is everyone today? Maybe it's a bit early for people to be in the pub I don't know, it's usually always someone in the pub when it's Did open sleep well, Miss not really no uh liar should be polite tell the truth i should tell him about that cat oh, let's just tell him the truth not really i have the rather queer recollection of a cat entering my room last night a cat you say yeah yes an odd looking gray one i must have been dreaming as i locked the door and windows before i went to sleep i saw a similar cat in the lavatories while searching for mr tillett Ah, Herbert. Oh, he's a harmless thing. Is he? He comes in now and then searching for scraps. Indeed. Seeing him in the lavatories must have conjured up the strange dream. The mind is capable of manifesting frightful things, Miss Beamer. True. I'm happy to report the rain of yesterday has lifted. Yay. It's a clear morning outside. Nice. Crisp. Crisp. I've prepared a room for your assistant. What time will he be arriving today? His train will get in around midday. Kenneth will also be bringing my excavation equipment. Cool. Oh, I. Uh, what does that entail? Picks, shovels, buckets, lighting and such. He usually packs it in a large crate. Come to think of it, I'll need somewhere to store it. You're welcome to use the alley behind the inn for any such bulky items. Huh, okay. Is it safe to do such a thing? My my equipment is valuable. That sounds capital. Thank you. I don't see what the alternative. Let's just ask. Is I it guess. safe to do such a thing? I can assure you, the local folk are not thieves, Miss Bateman. That's good. That's not what I. Now, now, say nothing more of it. Thank you, Stanley. I'll let you get on with your day. Now I'll be back with my assistant when he arrives. Fine. Can't be too careful, you know. You have to ask Bateman. these questions. Yes. I've something I wish to get off my chest, as it were. Okay. I've been tossing and turning all night, Miss Bateman. I feel rotten, I really do. What on earth are you talking about? As you know, I like to run an honest establishment. And well, I have not been honest with you, lass. Okay. I do know of Hobbs Barrow. Right. You do? I do. Many here do. There are stories tied to that place, you know. If I've learned anything in this life, it's that some stones are best left unturned. Okay. Old Leonard's shoulder is someone to be wary of, too. I can't tell you what to do, lass, but you'd best avoid him. Avoid him? Let's ask about... So, maybe it was Leonard, then, the old person that we saw, because he said old Leonard's shoulder. Hobbs Barrow. Why lie to me about Hobbs Barrow? I know, lass, I know. I feel dreadful. But why? What are these stories you speak of? I really can't tell you more. If you insist on visiting that place, you'll have to seek out Mr. Shoulder. He brought you here. He should be the one to tell you. Okay. I must say, Mr. Kemp, this is all quite puzzling. I've never let local superstitions stop me in the past. I pride myself on being a woman of logic and reason. I have no time to waste on such matters. As I say, seek out Mr. Shoulder. He can tell you more. Alright, there's something more to all of this then. Uh, but, you know, we're going to excavate it because the game's called The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow. It's not like we're just going to turn around and go home, is it? Why must I be wary of Mr. Shoulder? The man has a certain reputation. For what? You've seen it already. Were he here to meet you last night? No. Precisely. Unreliable. A man not to be trusted. Okay. Where is Hobbs Barrow? Where is Hobbs Barrow? I, I don't know. What? I say that on my mother's grave, Miss Bateman. Hmm. I now find that hard to believe. The moors are vast, lass. I tend not to go wandering out there. A grown man could lose himself and not be seen again. Hmm. I, I kind of feel like he's telling the truth on that, even though he wasn't honest before. Where does Mr. Shoulder live? Where does Mr. Shoulder live? I can't say for sure. As I think I told you last night, he's a quiet man and keeps to himself. He only comes in here to collect his post. It's a small village, though. Leads me to believe he lives a fair distance away. And certainly not in the village itself. What, no one Might knows where he lives? Might someone around Bewley be able to help me find him? You could ask around. 
as I say, lass. Purely folk mean well. Don't forget that. I shall return later. Good day to you, lass. Okay, well, uh, let's have a look at our to-do list. Oh, yeah, we've got that glove and everything, haven't we? Uh, to-do. Find Mr. Shoulder. Mr. Shoulder did not show up. I need to find him today to discuss the excavation and explore, explore Bewley. Should take a look around. Fine. Um, let's head out. I guess we're actually going to have, have a chance to look around the, the village now. <gasps> it seems I may be fighting a battle against some sort of local superstition. Is yeah. there a single barrow in England that doesn't have some ghastly tail attached to it? Probably not. Hogwash. All of it. Mm. I have a few hours until Kenneth arrives. I should use this time to find Mr. Shoulder. I mean, I, I don't... Oh, map unlocked. So it was M for map, right? Where should I go next? Oh, so the map is like a, a fast travel system, essentially. So we can go to the railway station, to the village square, and there's there's a whole bunch of places we haven't unlocked yet. Uh, right. Oh, the map's up there as well. Cool. Oh, look at that. These flowers look pretty. Someone must take good care of them. It's a nice robin up there. Who's this? Is this... What's Hello. his name? Uh, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Thomasina, and you are... Now then, that's none of your concern, love. Oh, come on. Let's ask about him, then. What do you do around here? Hey, up. Oh, you're not scared of sticking your neb in. I look after the churchyard. Okay. Dig the graves. Right. <laughs> the church. What can you tell me about the church? Aye, it's a church. No, you don't say. <laughs> Quite. Not, not big on conversation in this place, are they? Leonard Shoulder. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? I don't know out about no Leonard Shoulder. I imagine most people are going to feign ignorance on these topics. What can you tell me about Hobbs Barrow? Not to be found digging around in those things. You know of local barrows then? Don't concern yourself. Bewley. What can you tell me about Bewley? Not much around dear love. Not worth mentioning to you like. I see. Goodbye. There are. Fascinating conversation, man. Really, really glad we took the time to to, uh, to talk to you there. So much information gathered. Don't really know what to do with it all. Oh, there's some kids playing here. Uh, what's this? <clears throat> Quite a fine building indeed. Can we? It's a plaque. A small plaque beside the door reads Vicarage. Vicarage. I don't think anyone is home. Okay, no one's in. So we've got this place is all the boarded up. Is in a dilapidated <coughs> state. And I guess the we door could. Door has been boarded up. The building looks like a ruin. So we can go that way. <coughs> let's let's head uh, this way. This is the the shop, right? A local cobbler. Cobbler. Let's see if the cobbler's in. Oh, there's the church over there. Hmm. No one here. Huh. There's no one in a lot of these places. It seems. A local dwelling. Right, maybe someone's at home though. <clears throat> no one home again? I don't think anyone is home. Where is everyone? What are they possibly be doing? Right, there's a young woman here and a child. Let's try talking to these guys. Good day. Hello, miss. Hello. Let's introduce ourselves. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Betty. Nice to meet you, Betty. Let's ask about Betty. What are you up to? My brother is practicing his sword fighting technique. Lovely. I'm to watch him until he tires himself out. I'm tireless! <laughs> this time last month it were all about his teaspoon collection. This month it's swords. Nice. Let's ask about Leonard Shoulder. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No. Are you sure? Yes. Hmm, Hobbs Barrow then? What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Our parents don't like us talking to strangers, miss. We're not strangers. So you know of it? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Goodbye. Bye, miss. Maybe this kid will talk to us. Hello. E yes. Hello. Uh, let's... My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Douglas. Douglas. It's a pleasure to meet you, Douglas. <gasps> let's ask about his sword. That's a great sword technique you have. Thanks, miss. Mr. Crozier's gonna make me a real one when I turn twelve. Twelve? I'm preparing myself to fight the lantern worm. What on earth is the lantern worm? What is the lantern worm? It's gonna come back and get us all. 
John Lampton thought he killed it at the River Ware, but my father told me it still lives. Ooh. We must all be prepared. The Lampton worm isn't real, Douglas. <laughs> father just told you that to get you out of his air. Not true. I saw it slithering out by the beck, like a giant eel it were. I ran home so fast I thought I would fly. Sorry, miss. My brother has a vivid imagination. Children often do at yeah. his age. I'll keep training. You will all thank me when I thrust my sword deep into its fat belly. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> this lady doesn't want to hear your nonsense. I don't know. He, he seems pretty funny. Bewley. Do you like living in Bewley? Yeah, I do. Are you from the city? I'm from a long way away. You must have come on the train. I love watching all the steam puff up into the sky. Have you been on the train yourself? No, miss. Our parents don't have the money for train tickets. Father oh. says we have all we need here in Beulah. <sighs> Perhaps this nice lady would like to take you away with her on the train. Ah, that's not no, very nice. I need to stay and protect Beulah from the lantern worm. All right. Do we know about uh, Leonard Shoulder? Do you know a man called Leonard Shoulder? That's a funny name. It is, yeah, you're right. What about Hobbs Barrow? Have you heard of Hobbs Barrow? What's that? A local burial mound. Our parents don't let us wander far from the village. What's a burial mound? Don't you mind about that, Douglas. Okay, Mr. Crozier. Who's Mr. Crozier? He's a blacksmith. His forge is just over there on the other side of the square. Don't you think 12 years of age is a little young for a real sword? I'll be a master swordsman by then. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, miss. <laughs> I like that kid. He's quite funny. I do like the interacti interactive thing going on with, like, the, the members of the public. Let's talk to the blacksmith. Good day. Yes? Mr. Crozier, I presume. Aye. George Crozier, at your service. I hear you're making weapons for children. How is business faring? I do an honest trade. There'll always be horses needing shoes and farmers needing tools. Children needing let swords. Me know if you need out made or mended. I'll do you a fair price. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. That's nice. He seems cool. Let's introduce ourselves. My name is Thomasina. Hi. Can I help you? Uh, tell us a bit about yourself, I suppose. Are you a Bewley native, Mr. Crozier? Aye. Born and bred. That's where my father's forge before mine. Leonard Shoulder, do you know him? Do you know a man by the name of Leonard Shoulder? Oh, aye. Old he Leonard. He does. Have you seen him recently? No, not recently. Do you know where he lives? Why all these questions, lass? I need to speak with him. He invited me to Bewley. Oh, he'll turn up. I've seen him in the plough and furrow from time to time. But do you know where he lives? I need to find him. I believe he lives somewhere out on the moors. Okay. Can't tell you out more than that. So you lives Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Lives on the moors. What about Hobbs Barrow? Do you know of a local landmark named Hobbs Barrow? There's a fair many barrows found out on the moors, lass. Too many to put a name to. Not a soul in Bewley pays them any mind. Okay, how about Bewley itself? What can you tell me about Bewley? We don't get many visitors here, outside of market days. But there's plenty of work for the village blacksmith. Where are you from, then? I arrived yesterday on the train from London, by way of Derby. Oh, I, I've heard about London. What have you heard? I mean, I'd expect you to. There. Yes, indeed. The city is always changing and moving forward. Too busy for me, though, lass. I prefer a quieter pace. I get that. Aye. Uh, market days. When do market days run in Bewley? Once or twice a month. The next one is tomorrow. How delightful. Unless your vice is cabbages, they'll be not to interest a young lady. I don't mind a cabbage. Then you're in luck. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. He seems nice. He, he's probably the nicest person we've met before so far, other than, you know, that, that kid Douglas and, and Stanley. Let's see if we can go to the church. We can. Oh, look at these flowers. I like the way they move. That's pretty cool. Memorial plaques. In memory of Romeo Hegg. Dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> in memory of William Ager. Cool. In memory of George Paxton. Nice. So, oh, we can read more. These ones are just white. All right, there's a lady here with some cakes. A fine assortment of baked goods. 
a lovely treat for those who enjoy such things. Yeah. So it seems like um, Leonard Shoulder lives out on the moors, so I'm guessing we're going to head there at some point. Looks like we might be able to go into the church. Let's talk to this old lady if we can. Hello. Good day. Would you like to buy one of these cakes, pet? Uh, I don't know that we have any money, actually, do we? Uh, yes, I'd like to buy... Uh, what kind of cakes do you have? What kind of cakes do you have? I have some lovely Bakewell puddings. Nice. The sweetest marriage of almond and jam. Those are good. I can tell you're not from around here, because if you were, you would know about my Bakewell puddings. They are quite famous. Alas, I'm not carrying any money with me. That's unfortunate, pet. I'm sorry. I, I can't give them away for free. The money goes to the church, you see, and one cannot shirk one's duty to the church. Sure, sure. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, we get it. Let's introduce ourselves anyway. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? This is De Plancy. Okay. A pleasure to meet you, Mrs. De Plancy. Likewise, pet. Uh, let's ask about her. Tell me about yourself, Mrs. De Plancy. About me? <laughs> what would you possibly want to know about me? Anything. I have been attending St. Edmund's <laughs> Church We're going to get life story. Life. I always want to help where I can, so I sell my baked goods and all the proceeds go to its upkeep. That's nice. This place means so much to me. Okay, let's ask about cakes. Your cakes look delicious. I can assure you they are. You'll not find better in the entire county. It's quite the claim. St Edmund's Church. What can you tell me about St Edmund's Church? Isn't it the finest building? It's been standing here since the 12th century. The box pews in the nave are very fine and date back to the 17th century. The door is open if you'd like to worship. Might go in and have a look, yeah. Leonard Shoulder, do you know him? Do you know a local man called Leonard Shoulder? Yes, I know Leonard. What business do you have with him? It's a long story, but I'm trying to find where he lives. I'm afraid I don't know, dear. Father Roach has access to the parish register. Ah. He might be able to help you. Okay, let's ask about Father Roach. Uh, what can you tell me about Father Roach? What can you tell me about Father Roach? He is a lovely man, and an exemplary servant of the Lord. He's been the vicar of St. Edmunds for many years. Okay, where can I find him? Where can I find Father Roach? At this time of day, he'll be taking his exercise in Hearn Wood, oh. to the west of the village. Okay. Thank you. I'll go find him. Be sure to listen out for his merry whistling. Such a jolly man. Whistling. Got it. Okay. Uh, do you know about Hobbs Barrow? What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Hobbs what? Hobbs Barrow, a local burial mound. The only place of burial I know about and care for is in this very churchyard. All right. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. So, seems like we'll, we'll go in there, have a look around. We also want to find um, Father Roach because he might know where Leonard's house is out on the moors. But guys, we're out of time for this one, so we'll do that next time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Termini Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Coomadin. And I'll see you next time.